Last week, Yahoo introduced a new module for Yahoo Pipes called YQL, which stands for Yahoo Query Language, and this is included in the Sources area of Yahoo Pipes. And it allows you to get data in a way that's a little more powerful than just the fetch feed and some of the other input sources that you can use with Yahoo Pipes. So this looks very much, as you can see, very much like a database select statement or a um, SQL statement. Basically, of the form, select something from some table or some source where some condition is true. So in this case, we're looking for photos where um, they've been tagged with Ignite Portland. Also, by default, Yahoo Query Language only gives you 10 results. So what you can do is you can add another number in parentheses, and you have to do this after each table where you're getting data. And you can, I found that with this query I could increase it to about 200 before I had performance issues, but in this case I'm increasing it to 20, so you'll probably need to tweak this value um, in your Yahoo queries. The other interesting thing, and I, I think that it just has to do with the um, the way that the Flickr data is being pulled in is it's not pulling in the link in a way that is usable for most RSS readers and even for Yahoo Pipes. So we're going to have to rename the um, where they put the link to item.link, which is what Yahoo Pipes uses um, and what most RSS feeds use. So we'll connect that to the pipe output, click Save, and then we will run the pipe and here we have a pipe using Yahoo query language as the source.